It's interesting that we really never understood the importance of infrastructure transformations in history. We think of them as bridges and bridges and roads and dams. It's much more than that. There's been about seven or eight major infrastructure transitions in history and they changed civilization. They changed the economic model, our forms of uh, government, they changed our temporal spatial orientation, our narrative and worldview. There's three components that come together in infrastructures through history. New communication revolutions, converging with new energy regimes, converging with new mobility and logistics, and new built environments. And that changes the way we communicate, how we power our society, and how we move. Infrastructures become an extension of every human being's life. So if this sounds familiar, all of our infrastructures are ways to bring larger collectivities together in time and space and provide the communication, energy and mobility so larger units of people can engage as a social whole. It's an extension of our, each of our organisms. While the first industrial revolution gave us national markets and nation states, the second industrial revolution gave us globalization, the third industrial revolution gives us localization. Because the technology is so cheap and fluid, so it changes governance and we move toward localization and more regional power in the world. Nation states don't disappear, uh, but they become more arbiters of codes, regulations, standards to align regions. The regions become more powerful in terms of building out their transition infrastructures. The whole world is talking now about a Green New Deal. We are in a mass extinction event. We are going to lose potentially half the species on Earth unless we don't change our ways quickly. So the Green New Deal is an aspirational document, but now we have to fill it in. And that means we're going to have to transform civilization over the next 20 years. We're going to have to create a new infrastructure that's smart, uh, that's distributed, uh, that's sustainable, and that's off fossil fuels. We're going to have to create new forms of governance that puts more power to regions that connect across this infrastructure. We also have the younger generation that's beginning to learn that we are a species. All those young people on the streets and these Friday futures, they're recognizing that they're part of a species for the first time in history. All the old borders go and they're realizing that they're endangered. And all the other creatures in the evolutionary family are endangered. They're beginning to think of the biosphere as their community, not the geopolitical arena or the state that they live in. This is a huge shift. This all has to come together. Uh, new infrastructure, new modes of commerce, new kinds of governance, and new worldviews.